Well, there we go. The viewfinder. My goodness. <laughs> Brian, what a crazy story. Mr. Nate, how you doing, buddy? Mr. Brian, Mr. Art, Miss Julia, Popeye is here. This is so, so nice. Wonderful to see you. The bot is here. Three Shedanians bot. Wonderful. This is uh, kind of cool. Sebastian is also here. Very nice, very nice. Nancy's, how's it going? How's it going? Joseph Lemons, haven't seen you guys in ages. This is literally the first Saturday that I have time to do something that isn't, you know, work related or something that is mind blowingly brain shattering. I really need some time off type related. So, yeah, I've missed you too. Not, not bad. Exactly like five years. This is precisely what I was thinking. Well, and why not take this opportunity to have a look at this? exciting little indie title which is not made with unreal engine by the way this is a unity title called viewfinder and i forgot who made it but the studio is now called sad owl it used to be called i think robot turtle so we'll see some some uh, turtle references in this game i'm gonna go and start a new one and this is quite nice it's a little bit like super liminal if you're familiar with that in that it plays with the perspective so we're gonna we're gonna get to see something that exists as a 2d image and then just move it around put it somewhere and then it becomes a 3d object so i'm excited to uh, to share this with you i've played it a little bit but of course, I'm stuck at some puzzle or another. So, you know, let's have a, let's have a look if we, can, if we can do this together. Me too. It's really rare that we see something that is new and hasn't been done like 400,000 times in this day and age. Mom, Drake, very nice. We're in. Time to explore. Good to see you too, Dragon Age Mom. Wonderful to see you. <laughs> I think my mom's in Germany right now. I don't think she's here. But, you know, if she were, she would totally say hi as well. Well, there we go. This is the world of Viewfinder. I always like this sort of creepy atmospheric setting here. They have coffee mugs too, huh? I also like a good radio that you can look inside. And I also have a funky little coffee here as well. So, you know, I do like a, I do like a coffee. I do need to make this mug available as a 3D mug on my coffee store, I think. <laughs> I think that's that's just that's a good idea okay so let's go let's hop right in here this is kind of a the first level and we're soon gonna get out of here these notes i don't think they do anything this however does so these little gramophone type things they give us a little message to think all the wonders of the world can be dabbled with as long as you build the right space whether Hiraya wants to admit it or not, Mirren is truly brilliant. Oh, now, and it's got the stereo thing as well. Here? Cool. Mr. Chris, how's it going, buddy? Meet one of the newest DAS vendors, What's everyone. Mr. Point? Chris. That is so cool. Congratulations, man. I've never seen this much overgrowth before. Jesse, stop it's talking. I'm talking to Chris. Beautiful. Uh, so congratulations for making it over on the DAS store. That's really, really cool. Chris is now selling some of his products on DAS, which is just so, so cool. I wish you all the best, buddy. This is so nice to have that in and have all the funky toys to play with that aren't available to the everyman. So wonderful. You're very welcome. You deserve it. I didn't realize just how many products you had on your Rendo store. But like you say, you've been doing it for so many years, a couple of hours every day. It really adds up over the years. And uh, also congrats. I think I've already congratulated you on that, that you've become part of the top 50 vendors on Renderosity. So that is that is very cool. Wouldn't it be nice if that happens on the desk store? Come on, we can make it happen. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Right? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice to see Chris's name on the newsletter? So I didn't do this when I played this game the first time, but I have a feeling we need to sort of line this up for a bonus level, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that doesn't happen here. I just thought, you know, while we're 
while we're here, I can, I can have a look at that. So these are sort of the perspective things that we're going to play with, look at something from a particular angle and then it becomes something else. Oh, and there's another feature. I think they're introducing that here. Which reminds me of... Whoa, you okay? Uh, I'm okay, Jesse. My I vitals, guess man. We know now that falling doesn't hurt. That's some good That's news, true. At least. So this is a cool mechanic if you do something that puts there you in... To, get back up there. to an impossible spot. You just rewind. It's a bit like in, I don't know if you're familiar with that really old game on the original Xbox, Blinks the Time Sweeper. Oh, well, there we go. Sick. I don't know if sickness has anything to do with it, Jesse, but hey. Yeah, so this is a good mechanic. I do like that. This bridge doesn't break, even though it just looks as rickety as the other one. Ooh, chocolate. <laughs> I like it. Yes, I think actually Jesse is somebody who's talking in our ear. It's not us, so we are somebody else. What's an old We're like the. Doing here? It's like the silent protagonist type thing. This is the other cool mechanic, and I think this is sort of the main mechanic here. So 2D photo, right? We pick it up, and then we can go and hold it up like this, and we can put it away again. But it's just a 2D photo at this point. But then if we go and can you do something with it? put it sort of here, it becomes 3D geometry. And that is sort of cool. I have no idea how this magic works because this is quite a lot of work under the hood. Did, <laughs> and in this case... Did you just shift reality? Reality, mate. Yeah, I shifted reality. in it, love? And this thing will end the level. So that's the mechanic. We have to go and make it through the level and then find this thing. And there might be some hidden you know, bits and pieces here. But beautifully done. This, this is it. That was, that was the game. <laughs> Let's see what happens in the next level. <laughs> Glad you made it in one piece. Right, that is what we need. Silent protagonist, but then somebody nagging in your ear all the time. I tell you, if I was to make a game, my narrator would be from Northern Ireland. I think we haven't seen that before. We've seen Scottish, we've seen Welsh, we've seen like estuary, like in this case, uh, American, of course, uh, all kinds of other accents. But I think Northern Ireland wasn't actually featured. Iron, I Irish also not really, but Northern Ireland in particular. Oh, look, this is another mechanic here. This teleporter doesn't work right now. So we need to find three batteries, yeah? And put it on the black thing here, in it. But we only have one battery. Let's see if we can find the others. And there's an owl, look at that. Very cool. <laughs> Here's one. We could use that. Pick a battery. It's almost working. Looks like we need one more. And we can look inside as well. Is that cool? Look, you can have a look at the circuitry and stuff. This is what it's made of. Can we have a look at what transistors those are <laughs> and resistors? Oh yes, for our, sh uh, for, our, for our Kickstarter game, yes. A silent protagonist who sometimes speaks in addition to five people constantly talking at you. Yes, I like it. We need to write these ideas down. And one day we're going to make it. Oh, oh, gramophone. Nako, you know I cannot stand these types of activities. Here I am, my love. Please, hold still. What do I even do with my hands? Just relax them and try to smile. A portrait in a digital landscape. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> is this technically traditional or digital? Digital. Questions. Stop moving. Smile. Oh. So it's the same studio, but it's a photo of it, and the photo happened to have a second battery in it. That is very cool. And the black and white battery will also work on on the on the color teleporter. Will it? Yes. Look at that. 
I think. Well done. <laughs> that is cool, isn't it? All right. Next level. So it always seems super easy, but then there's one level where you think, I God, don't, I don't know how to how to do this anymore. And you guys got to help me out. We need to. We're all in this together. Fidgetal, that's right, exactly. Fidgetal. And then I, I thought, you know, this is going to be a great name for a company. North Star Fidgetal. A laser focus company. Because those are all buzzwords that the whole... That, that I used in, in all the wrong places. North Star, the thing that you should be... That should be your North Star that you should be aspiring to. Fidgetal. Mix of digital and physical. Terrible. And then laser focus is if you if you if you just concentrate for once, like you're just distracted with fifty things, usually on a good day. And whatever is your your laser focus thing, that is when you just stop looking at Discord for five seconds. Ah, we can also rotate this. Ah, yes. I just like this transition that the moment when they do this it's not just that this turns into 3D geometry but also the existing geometry kind of gets sliced off here very cleverly so no matter what you do let me just go and, and rewind that actually and put it like right in the in the middle of this here so it's completely unpredictable if I put this thing here like right in the middle here and there and it really is just 2D at this point. I, I don't know if this is already 3D when you do this, or if it becomes 3D the moment you press the trigger. <laughs> so the whole, you know, the, the flower here gets sliced in half. That thing gets sliced in half. It's, it's a great game mechanic. Oh, hang on a minute. Now we have another photo. We can just go in there. Oh, no, we can't because we need a battery, don't we? So you can pick up a photo inside a photo. And there's the battery. Oh my! That's insane! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry about the chairs here and the <laughs> flowers and all. I didn't mean to didn't mean to cause havoc here. Don't drop it. Whoops. Mm, nice one. Uh <laughs> Whoops. Where's the where's the battery? Oh man, I lost it. I went back but I didn't pick up the battery. Okay, fine. Let's go and uh do that. <laughs> Just uh, place that strategically again. <laughs> kick kick table down just because we feel like it. And chair. Whee! <laughs> Very nice. And um, so this brings up an interesting problem also that if I had placed the photo and had destroyed the teleporter in doing so, then also it would be game over. Let me go and show you that. If I had taken my photo and I would have put it here, then I get this. The teleporter was destroyed because I literally sliced it in half. So now I can't use it anymore. And as such, I can't, um, even if I take pick this up, the, it's not going to get powered again, I don't think. <laughs> How sad is that, right? So let's not do that. Let's go and put, put this thing here. But cool mechanics, right? I'm thinking it's just, it's rare that we see something hey, we go. that's like more or less a new mechanic that I haven't seen. <laughs> So super funny. Whoa, this place definitely feels different than what we've seen so far. It does? It looks like someone really settled here. Yes. It's, it's really nice. I wish I could be in there with you. Yeah, so that that tells me Jesse really isn't isn't us. We we are somebody that's not Jesse. 
and I seem to recall this is sort of a, what we've seen until now was just a demo really now we're going into this hub world and this teleporter gets us back into those levels that we've just looked at but scattered around here are some other teleporters that we can take to other worlds interesting bathtub gotcha hmm it must oh, be a security measure. A structured path we have to follow. Well, let's find the next working one. Yeah, because this one is... is budged. Exactly, and then even if you do screw up, you just rewind up until the point where it last worked. So I think there's... there's oh, there we go. This is one. I think... The, it's locked, you know, it's also not working. I think it tells you when you rewind, can I rewind now? No, I can't rewind now. But when we're in a level again, oh, these things are hovering here. My dandelions are hovering. Whoops, dang! <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm back, I'm back, nothing happened. <laughs> Just slipped off there. Yeah, I think if it has a circle on the rewind list, that's something that went okay, but if it has an X, that means you've screwed something up. So I think that's also important to remember. Okay, so we have the what's tea next? Here. Very nice. Yes, all made in Unity, this. This must be the next stage. Let's, Let's go. go. Is that what it's called? A tagine? I've learned a new word today. How exciting. Oh, there's a... Can we get up here? Ah, empty canvas. <laughs> we can't jump over there, can we? No, of course not. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. That's a cool mechanic here. This, again, this is the first time I'm, I've seen this before. Is was in Blinks, the Time Sweeper. And that was a platform game and you had to do something and then quickly rewind but then it was because it was a third person game it made a sort of a copy of you and you could see your your original or your copy sort of still doing what you did a bit like in the talus principle when they introduced that concept very cool oh, nice pick a photo this thing this is this a tangine is it Ceramic corn like dish. Oh, thank you, Nate. I appreciate that. Popeye, thank you so much for the super chat donation. I appreciate that. Oh, we have a like button there. That's incredible. And a heart button as well. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's not cookware. Okay. <laughs> Do teach me new other new words that I haven't that I haven't come across before. Thank you, Popeye. Much appreciated, buddy. Ah, so maybe this here. That is that bridge then, isn't it? Right? Build a bridge, just put it put it here, make it make it happen oh, and grey brick road. And now it's real! That is insane. That is just so cool. I think they're gonna introduce this this concept also that if you line something up just by looking at it, it becomes something that it wasn't before. Ha! <laughs> that is so funky. That is so, so funky. Oh, the bots also noticed that. Thank you, bot. That was, you know... <laughs> no matter if it's a delay or not, bot, that's fine. Oh, this here. Is this a tagine? With the figs in? I think the figs are a little bit large compared to the pot they're in. <laughs> that was a tad slow, wasn't it? Ah, that's tagine. I like it. Ooh. Maybe we could hammer out this. Oh, a line photo. Oh, that just makes it line it. So that then goes and makes it makes us walk through that curtain. Nice. Ha. And do we squeeze through here? And I know what you're thinking. Hey, that's way too easy. It gets more difficult in a second. Oh, there's also collectibles here. This is this is one. Ducky! Alright. 
Uh, fancy solar panels. Maybe there's a surface panels. you can use to climb up there. Surface, climb up there. Gotcha. Logger graph. I need, I need to understand. This place, beautiful as it is, carries so much weight. There is promise here. Promise of a future we can surely achieve. Even now, I'm striving to reach heights I never thought possible. Ah. All that I hope is that that everything we do here continues to have meaning out there as well. For our sake. For Mirren's sake. Yeah, poor Mirren. Gotta look after Mira. Was it is would this work, do you think? <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Ha ha ha! <laughs> Mate, it's not all about pooping. Ooh, what is this? Bridging the gap, how lovely. <laughs> but but a lot of it is, I have to say. Is that it? That was the level, wasn't it? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> ah, more battery shenanigans. Two more to go. Gotcha. And of course, one battery is back here. Huh. And... Our future skies are bright. Oh, that is a photo. Oh. That is, that's also a photo. Oh, look at that. It's, it's also a photo. Oh. And now I can flip between them. How exciting! That any more photos here? Uh, a treasure in the making. Currently, though, a blank canvas. So, and I suppose we need to sort of go behind here and not destroy the battery in the process. But there isn't really anything. Those aren't really structures, are they? I mean, if we put the sky here... It just makes a big hole. That is, that is fascinating. <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that... At least we can get that battery that way. That is nice. That's one battery. But of course, we're still one battery short. <laughs> the picture is already 3D. Yeah, that might make sense. So that the moment you do this, this is already putting the 3D objects there. That could well be. That could well be. It's, um, it is slick and super smooth. This is how the building mechanics work in games where you, where you put something that has sort of a, you know, it's like a, it's not quite the real version. It's just like a green thing, and then you can move it around. And when you press another button, it becomes real. Actually, when you do this, it's already the whole three D object just with a different material. So you might be right, Sebastian. Yeah, it'd be great to hear um, how it works, just technically under the hood. I know that the developer did this as a demo about five, six years ago, just as a proof of concept and then eventually turned it into a fully fledged game with a few other cool mechanics. <laughs> we can walk behind here now, that's exciting. But that doesn't really help us. Do we, is there something else up here maybe? Or maybe behind here? Fascinating idea, isn't it? You know, there's nothing behind here. I have a feeling maybe we need to go have a examine whatever's on the top here but of course how what do we even do that what's the rewind button say yeah here so the rewind button reckons an x i think is you've balked it i think a circle means you did the right thing but then you know we did liberate the battery that way but then if we hadn't done that what else could we have done? Can I jump up here? Is that a bit too... No, that's too... That's too high. Could we... 
Can we jump up here? Good. Uh, yeah, I'm like... Uh, did, that, did that help? Didn't help, did it? <laughs> I don't think that helped. Oh, you know, there could be something inside this building here. This here. I might just take a wall off or something like this. Yes! Look at that! <laughs> I didn't realize that that thing was hollow. So it's not about going up on it. We just opened the building up that way. Sweet! So this we didn't balk. Right? We... Oh, it still has an X. I don't know, maybe maybe the X doesn't mean all that much. Maybe I was wrong there. But... I think there's a cat up here. <laughs> this here. <laughs> With the eyes and stuff. It's a cat, isn't it? Very cool. Well, let's uh, open this up. Take that, that leaves us with one photo. Do we? We don't really need that it's to alive. do anything, but perhaps. <laughs> <It's alive. laughs> she's a Fruit Loop. Yeah, too much? Yeah, cool. Yeah, too much. Jesse. Cool, now we have the northern lights in the sky. I like it. Oh, look at that move as well. Ha! <laughs> she's totally high on whatever. Interesting shoes. Chris, if you need a modeling suggestions, these shoes. <laughs> you can call them pantoffles, perhaps. <laughs> All right, let's go teleport to, I don't know, back, next level. Next level, far away. <gasps> Photo, got you. Also, keep your eyes out for any more rubber duckies. <laughs> Fruit Loop, yes. 100%. Oh. This looks like we have another easel with another photo in there. Find a better gradient. Mirren prefers cooler tones for her workplace. We'll keep that in mind. Mm, sweet. Little backstory. I don't think we need to know about it, but it's, you know, it's nice. People make notes and notebooks and stuff. <laughs> Very nice. I'm thinking, is this runway long enough to reach that other part? Oh yeah, the teleporter was destroyed. Yes, of course. Yeah, no, that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. So that's that's how that works. If it's, if there's an exclamation mark <laughs> oh, on the read wide timeline. So the photo is acting a bit weird. Exclamation mark means that isn't gonna work, Jay. So that makes sense. Maybe we'll put it put it here, maybe. Uh, uh, it's difficult to, 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 can you hear me? It's the same picture. Well, that'll work. Oh, something's happening to my reality here, though. <laughs> Maybe I can't keep going into one copy after the other. There's the cat again. Cat, help me out here, man. <laughs> Whoops. This is happening to my life quite a lot, I have to say. Must not destroy teleporter. Dang! It's the red screen of death. I knew it! It was all fake, man! Welcome back. A little too soon for my liking, but happy to have you. Ah. Thanks. Jesse, easy on the giggle cream, Seems huh? Like the simulation had some difficulty maintaining itself. 
We might need to reroute our power sources to keep it running. Bummer, Let's. but that's what we get for messing with old tech. Don't worry, love. We'll get it sorted, and then it's off to the races with you. Don't call me love, please. Liberty checked by nobody on no date. I get you. <laughs> oh, that was Das Studio. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if I can do that. Let me, oh, look at that. This is an our uh, very old crusty SX70, isn't it? Is that an SX70? No, no, no. SX SX70s were the foldable Polaroids, the generation sort of before that, fully made of metal. In the 70s, early 70s. This one was probably mid 70s. I forgot what that was what it was called. I mean, it was the one step. This is they, they do have coffee here. That's that's nice and pencils. It looks like the camera is a hero thing that needs to go on the pinball. Weather disruptor. Notes and old articles allude to a machine that could impact the weather. Blueprints might be in the simulation. Oh. Oxygen rates continue to fluctuate as new wave of industry expansion begins. Dr. Mirren Morrison and associates studied the climate and its potential via simulation. Oh, and that's what we're bringing back to life. I get you, I get you. It's a bit like in cloud busting, isn't it? Kate Bush's song. Our world, the red world. Is it? Oxygen levels seem good. Nothing good on TV. Nothing's changed in the... Oh, yes. This this is where we live. <laughs> Dang, we should have never moved to Mercury. <laughs> Let's see if... Oh, look, this is going to be the server room here. Yep, that, that looks like... That looks like my living room. That's <laughs> I feel right at home here. Systems online three or five errors detected. <laughs> it looks normal, doesn't it? I think tell you what, let me just go and switch the whole thing off. Systems online zero or five. And now we're gonna switch there we go one after the other in an ordered fashion <laughs> I like it this is working again should we go back in the simulation because my own world doesn't look so hot I, no pun intended is there anything behind this door now nice work looks like we're back online Ready when you are. They've developed this game through through the COVID period, didn't they? Hand sanitizers. Also, double hand sanitize. Also, pick up camera. Who knew it would be this tricky to get ancient tech back in working order? Just look at all this junk lying around. Uh, <clears throat> Don't be cruel, Jesse. <laughs> These people were trailblazers. We could find a real tree of life in there. Or is it more accurate to call it a lightning rod? Oh, well, either way, one thing's clear. The weather disruptor really might be the game changer we need. <laughs> the hammer can fix it, I'm sure. So I'm basically using one of these new platforms. Did you see that in, I think, somebody at Disney? invented this material that you can have underneath your feet and it feels like you're walking forward uh, some kind of buffered thing with thousands of little metal balls underneath it but it has this impression that you're walking and it can also track your movement so that plus vr is the the ultimate experience i guess dang i can't go back <sighs> just as stunning as i remember it let's get our bearings and find where we left off do you know, this is that hub world, isn't it? Bathroom underneath, like somewhere here. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, look at that, there's my duckies on the bathtub here. How exciting. So we're back at the hub world. This thing's still not operational. Gotcha. I got this is locked still. 
Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, here. These turtle tables are very exciting. <laughs> yeah, Robot Turtle was the name of the studio previously, before they changed it into Sad Owl. <laughs> so now we have cats, owls, turtles, tangines, and all that stuff. This is the tangine, right? What are, they, what are they cooking here? Something with olives, I think. Good materials. Good materials. Teleport to next level. I say let's do it. Ah, uh, it's this level again. Gotcha. Is that the one where we just crashed the system? <laughs> Must not crash system. It is, isn't it? Dang. Okay, let me not crash the system this time. Let's go, let's go this way instead. Or is that how we're supposed to do it? it might be that this is how we're supposed to do it. Photos are back to normal too. Excellent. Huh. Should be smooth sailing from here. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Let's not destroy the teleporter. I've sliced the tree. <laughs> I mean, that is difficult to do, isn't it? How do you slice a tree? I mean, this is the same mechanic that they do in Fruit Ninja. But you have to... You can't just... Would you slice the object the moment this happens or would it be already really high poly and you just no that wouldn't that's not how they do it is it you'd have to go and slice the object the moment you're about to replace it then that is that's there's all kinds of exciting logic going on here under the hood i don't know how i'm gonna be able to go up Oops. Oh, like this then. <laughs> Must not destroy teleporter. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is that is just the best way to get around. <laughs> just build yourself a wonky little bridge. <laughs> and stop questioning the game. Yeah, good good idea. Let's just <laughs> see it for what it is, man. This in itself, like presenting the next level through that little hole and then just expanding it, that is also difficult to do. Those are difficult things. You basically have to load the level and have a camera looking at that level in the previous level. And then what? You unload the previous level? Are we still technically in two levels? There's all kinds of considerations that you have to, <laughs> to think about, you know? Close your eyes. I don't know if I should. Is this payback for making you mix new soil compositions all day? Please, Hiraya, have you ever known me to be the vengeful sort? Hmm. Okay, see. <laughs> and we have different draw styles as well. Look at that. This is so exciting. So we're still looking at the at the 3D materials, they just they just rendered differently. I mean, you can still see the foliage moving and stuff. That is exciting, Sebastian! Thank you so much. This is really cool. Wow, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Fantastic. This is so nice of you guys. Doesn't this look cool? I mean, I have to say, this is I'm, I'm getting a kick out of this. I know that Unity is sort of famous for having all these kinds of draw styles, like, you know, pixelated and, uh, and make it look like a drawn piece of what's it. And there's so many plugins that you can get to make that happen. Like the... Like the short hike that made use of that. It's marvelous. See? I told you. Because the objects are all still the same, aren't they? 
<laughs> but I've never seen it being mixed in the same level. So we've got this this painterly look with strokes and we also have the photorealistic one and we have the black and white pencil thing. Oh my, in the same level? How do you do that then? Because <laughs> I know that these other filters, they're usually applied on a camera. Oh man, really? Oh, <laughs> How long did this take you? Now that would be telling. Art should retain some mystery. <laughs> that is insane! Look at that! Now we're in the desert! That is cool. This game was totally worth it just to experience Are this. You? I found it! Now this was a funny one. <laughs> hmm. Not your usual style. You could say I was stretching my creative muscles. And that over here, this has got to be, it's like a plane, but it's got the, the bottom part kinked out and this little bit sticking out. It's, it's really cool. Half geometry like that. Uh, yes, but this, they're all cut out planes, aren't they? That is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> the bug killer sitting in there. Look at that, we can open the door. I need a, we need to have a game that is entirely made of, of this sort of style. <laughs> that is hilarious. It's got a floor and everything. Can I close the door as well? No. Yes, I can. Yes, this is going to be the art style for my next production. If only I could draw like this. <laughs> Oh my god, this is another one. Yeah, this here. That pixelated sort of dungeon world. I've seen that before. This is what the short hike uses. I don't know if it's the exact same plugin, but... Yeah, that's <laughs> the PS1 emulator, essentially. People were chained up and stuff here. Poor chain. Oh, is that so? Nancy, thank you for the tip. White vinegar, that's that's really cool stuff to get your kettle back in order and your, your coffee machine. Your mind is <laughs> limitless. This was fun. Few things make me happier than when you say that here. <laughs> it smells terrible in a in a kettle though, I have to say. There's another photo. Oh my. So this was interesting. The moment I picked up the photo, I don't know if you've noticed it, it turned from this pixelated effect into clarity. I don't know if that's anything that gives us a clue. <laughs> I have no idea how they do this. This is crazy good. And now that is 3D geometry. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> And we're back at the hub world. <laughs> we're back at the hub world. This is fantastic. I wonder, will we ever get our own camera to take pictures of stuff that we then... A bit like in portals. So you put your own portals when, you, when you're ready. Revisit levels. So we've been there. Maybe the one on the bottom is now working. This one we've seen. The one in the bathroom is still not working. This one here. Teleport to next level. There we go. It is, isn't it, Sebastian? This is what I'm thinking as well. It literally is the, the, just experiencing this is a total work of art. And it's really, it's unlike any other 3D experience. It's just a pleasure to walk around in this. Ah, yes. Photo with battery in it. How many batteries do we need? Two. Gotcha. Well, 
you'd think. Pick up battery, put it on teleporter, and find next battery. Maybe. Is that? Oh, it must be a photocopier. I'll test it out. It's a photocopier. Can I turn this into... Yes! Oh my, I can turn this into real stuff as well. Ooh. Is there maybe another painting of a duck? Another painting of a battery, Ever perhaps? since that argument, Hirai has seemed rather down. I, I know she means well, but Mirren pushed it too far. There must be something I can do to cheer Hiraya. Maybe design a new possible flower. Oh, that would be lovely. We can sketch it together over some tea. Physiocopia. So if I can... If I can... Can I make pictures of everything? Or copies of everything? They come out as a copy. This is <laughs> so it's not the original, of course, <laughs> but uh, but the copy. Yes, <laughs> it looks for the copy. So then, if I need a second battery, should I just go and make go all the way back to the beginning and make a copy of the photocopy? The photocopy. Gotcha. We'll do that. See if that looks any different. Can I just make a photocopy of the battery and then give the thing... <laughs> yes. And give the thing... Um... Does it get any... Does it get any worse? This versus that? No, they look the same. <laughs> just checking. It looks like they're the same. <laughs> so the, the copying quality doesn't suffer. <laughs> Nate is displeased. So let's go all the way to the beginning then, because if we need a second, third, fourth, fifth battery, all we need to do is make a photocopy of the battery photo, put it in multiple times, I don't know if the thing is going to accept a photocopied battery, though. There. Three batteries. And it retains that <laughs> photocopy style as well. Very funky. See if it works. Maybe we need to have two just to... Uh, oops, no, no, no. They're just, just put that down like that. It works! <laughs> The web soul is here. How's it going? We are playing this incredibly crazy cool game called Viewfinder. Where 2D pictures turn into 3D geometry. It works. What happens if we put three batteries on the photocopier? Will it get overloaded? Will we teleport twice as fast? Me too! And that you'd have to sort of do something else to it to restore it or something. Give it a... give it three... why not 15 batteries? Do you know, if we had a camera, we could take a picture of these three, photocopy that and make ourselves another three batteries. Just for fun, right? So, <sighs> on second thought, why don't I write this one down? Write it down. Chocolate bar, tangine collection, uh, not tomato ketchup, it's paint. <laughs> and nothing's in the cupboard. Alma glue on the top here. Uh, 
And paint splotches on the shoes. Chris, yeah, you should, you should, you should make these shoes. Uh, they look comfy. <laughs> Flat shoes. Pick a photo. Leo, how's it going? Yeah, what are the chances we need to go over there? There's nothing else here, is there? Photocopier, yes! Okay. That is good. I don't know how many copies we need. Maybe we're going to find a different photo over there. I mean, I'm thinking we just go... Like that? Oh yeah, that's the L. That we're looking for. <laughs> yes. That is how we do that. Slice that geometry right in half. Very cool. And now it's 3D and we're walking on it. A minute ago it was a picture like this and now, oh! It blows my mind. East Shade, yes. East Shade looks very nice. Brian really liked it. I've played it. I found it a little bit boring when I played it, uh, just the, the story, but that could be that I wasn't in the right mindset for that. So it is a good game and the studio apparently have made millions according to one of their YouTube videos. So yeah, went all in, him and his wife, they did it and it looks, it looks very pretty, I have to say. <laughs> it's totally cool, Leo. We're, we're glad to have you. I tell you, autocorrection is going to be the death of our society at one point. I love it when you type something and then you hit return, then the word changes in front of your eyes and then it gets sent. That is, that's something my iPhone does that sometimes. And I'm thinking, I didn't type that, this wasn't autocorrected, it was just, yeah. No problem at all. No problem at all. Oh, cat. Hey, cat, can you help us out here? Cat is totally eyeing us. Do we is huh? Where do you think we need to go? I do see something. Oh, there is the teleporter is up here. That's part of the picture that I put there. Huh. That is even weirder. East Chain, yeah, did you play it, Websoul? So essentially this, that's where we need to go eventually. Uh, uh, like, can we, can we do that? Would, would that work? Uh, no. Somehow that's too far away. And maybe that works. I can't quite reach it. So <laughs> I think I just need to copy my photo a few more times and just make sure one of these is sort of upright that I can go and <laughs> go there. Oh man. Okay, so it looks like we're not getting any more pictures, so let's make more copies of what we have. That is what we should be starting to worry, I agree with you. And it's coming, man, it's coming. I can, I can see it now. They're gonna send you packages for products you didn't even want just yet, but they've analyzed your brain patterns and there was a 99% chance that you're gonna want it this time next week, so we've sent it to you already. That's when things just go too far. Too far. So I wonder if we prophylactically then put that here. That might work, and then we do our previous thing where we use that, indeed, to do this, perhaps. I wonder what they're working on next. 
the East Shade guys. Because East Shade was a success for a small indie outfit. Ah, look at that! It's a bride taser, am I? We've worked it out! I wonder what else this is. No, what's that? That looks interesting. Subway. Let's check it out. No, let's not. There's other things to check out here. I don't want to see what that is. It's a tram. This is going to bring us to another hub world, isn't it? I wonder if this... If this duckies... If this teleporter now works. It does teleport to optional challenge. I don't know. Are we up for the optional challenge? Or are we, are we scared by that? <laughs> Me too! I was wondering earlier, when does your 2D picture actually get turned into 3D geometry? Does it happen the moment you put it in, when you still think it's 2D, and the moment you hit the trigger button, does it then turn into 3D? Or does it place this as essentially a 3D projection of multiple objects right in front of you the moment you, you put the picture in there? It's a good question, I'm wondering that as well. I'm wondering that as well. So it could be very similar to the building mechanic that we have in, in crafting games where you pick something like you want to build a tent and then the tent appears in sort of a shiny green outline or whatever and then you put it where you want it and then you click something else and then the thing materializes but it's it was already the fully fledged object it just changes materials essentially that is how that's done so i wonder if this happens here as well what really freaks me out is that when you do that those objects basically slice existing objects off at the edge and that's just exciting <laughs> i gotta say that's that's really exciting yes it's in unity this is a unity game unity and they have really good things going as well with the uh, with different uh, painterly effects that we'll see as we go into these photos. Like just before you came in, there was a series of five pictures, and every picture had a different sort of draw style, almost black and white as a sketch. And the other one was um, was something that's more like a comic book, and another one was pixelated. And it's all based on the same 3D objects. They just change. It's it's basically a post process effect. It's what um, Unreal Engine would call it. Yes, and there's many of those around in the Unity world. For games that look like a pixel game, like, you know, if it's made for something that looks like you're playing it on a PS1 or something like that. This is something that happens at the very end. And everything else, most of the other stuff is then done in, in 3D. Ah! That's it? <laughs> and we just go through here and walk around the corner? Yes! Of <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> and now I would have to. I'd have to place this at an angle so that I can walk on an angle on both these things, right? <laughs> like, uh, like so. That might work. No, actually, this might work. That's insane. <laughs> I wonder, Nate, why is Jesse not coming in? Man, this is mean. Do I have to make a decision now? Yeah, so what I find fascinating is if I were to place this picture here, right? Uh, watch what happens to the wall and all the foliage here. If I do this, quick, those things they get they get cut off. So that's that's sort of a and it happens really fast. It can't be an expensive operation. They even have to find materials on the inside of that geometry. So this is this is fascinating. <laughs> we need to know how this works. We need to make this this exact mechanic happen in Unreal Engine. So it looks like I have a choice then, don't I? Because there's a there's another table with another picture up here, but really I can only 
either choose this or the other, so let's... This, so this is kind of a dark table, <laughs> just in case we get the same choice again. And there's another table. Whee! And there's another table. They, oh, is this the same picture? Same picture, maybe we get another chance. <laughs> Anything behind here? Whoa, no, this is bad! <laughs> She's basically tank from the Matrix. Oh man, I can't do that. So if we've already been to the light table, uh, to the dark table, let's see what the light table has to offer. Maybe it's a better... Look at this! This is just so cool! The foliage just, just starts right here. I, I'm fascinated by this technology. <laughs> fascinated, man! <laughs> yeah, very thrilling art style. Comes with maze, look at that. <laughs> do you know, maybe that's linked. Maybe when you do comment, that is when you get a commercial. Oh, you can't hear me because you're watching the commercial, aren't you? <laughs> Dang, that is bad. It's the Mondrian duck. Find all the ducks in chapter one. These are Polaroid colors here, by the way. Polaroid colors. Now let's remember this is the optional challenge, so maybe if we can't get this done, it might not be that big a deal. But right now I don't actually know <laughs> where the where the teleporter is. I don't think we've seen it. We we may have missed it. Well there's something up here. I'm I'm thinking that might be the picture with the teleporter on it. That that is possible. That's something we couldn't reach. No! <laughs> Dang. Let's see, which one was that? That was the one prior to that. No, that wasn't. It was uh, It was this one, wasn't it? Yes, this one. So, when we place this picture here... Let's be extra special careful that we can reach this table now. Does it have the teleporter? It does indeed, look at that! Oh, but the teleporter is... So we're basically, we need to do this. No, no, don't do that. Yeah, like this. That's crazy! Caught in the act. Place a photo while falling and land on it. <gasps> nice! That is a game and a half. No, what's that? That looks interesting. Let's check it out. But I now have Ducky. That's true. Let's have a look at the Ducky collection. Look at that! Four ducks in a row! <laughs> Fantastic! It's like Portal with pictures. Yes, that's right. That is so right. How cool! It really isn't often that we find games that just present you something completely new. I mean, you know, Super Liminal had characteristics like this as well. Also very cool game. But that was tougher. I must admit, I'm surprised you made it this far. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. The cat's talking. Good to have you. There's the cat's talking to, to, to me. Have you finished exploring? Meg, the how's it will going? Take us to Haraya's station, a place where science and art meet nature. 
Ah, as if we haven't met enough science and nature in this place. No, let's go to Horaya's place. I like it. Uh, you go first. No, I go first. Meg, how's it going? Good to see you. Current location, Aharon. Selected location as... Oh, and then this locked stations. Ooh, let's do it. Aran was a brilliant designer. All the lovely artistic elements you see are all thanks to his handiwork. Is Though that so? his colleagues were just as amazing in their own right. Their work was always said to change the world. Or so they said. <laughs> Often. Your farming project, how exciting. I'm glad that's still going. Very good to I'm hear. Kate, by the way. An artificial record keeper developed by Mirren to maintain this place. I'll be here to assist you in any way that I can. And I look forward to seeing what wonders you discover. Well, this is a really, really exciting game, Meg. You've joined us at the correct time. I think it's about to get a little trickier, but the mechanics have all been introduced. And you're going to love this from a programming Whoa, point of view. It is a tree. You're going to love this from a programming point of view because we were just wondering how they've achieved He's what they've done. Jesse, the you, had a rock. you <laughs> are sick. <laughs> yeah, uh is there an option to disable narrator or something? That'd be, that'd be great. Disable narrator. That'd be really good because she's not exactly helping. Speech volume. I could take the whole thing down. But uh, specialization. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Let's leave her on for now. But <laughs> um, where's my applause? Uh, this must be the next set. Huh? Maybe we'll find. Disable narrator. Quick survey. Why did you disable the narrator? Because she was annoying. But that's just me. So Meg, exciting things await. As soon as we find the next photo, if we do find a photo, so they they're doing something here that I've seen in Superliminal uh, before, or partially, but literally on steroids. Uh, ah, here's something that is similar. So we have these snippets of pictures, but if we line them up. And they were 2D a minute ago, right? They were just painted on. Now, it's 3D and they're real objects. This is even more impressive. So it rains, but it only rains in this part of the level, not in this part. <laughs> it's like we have different lighting in one small part of the same level. <laughs> Do you feel me? This was, oh, there's another one. But this is basically the opposite of what we just had with the cameras. So these are all, this is just drawn on, right? There's no, there's no 3D anything here. We can walk behind here and there's, there's, you know, there's a little, little patch of corridor here. But then we look at this from the correct angle and it just goes sort of nice walk. clonk. Uh -huh. That's weird. Uh, sorry, sorry, the simulation is really on my end. And now it's 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 a 3D object that has also, check it out, sliced away the objects that were here beforehand. Like, you know, the walls and all that. And while this here could have been predetermined because we did we had to be in a particular position, this also works arbitrarily because when we find pictures we just put them up and put them literally anywhere press a button and then that picture becomes 3D geometry at that point. Ay caramba! The King Villain! Thank you so much for the super chat donation! You're very welcome! I don't even recall what the question was that I answered. But hey, if you do want to ask another one, I'm always here for you, buddy. Wonderful to see you! Wonderful to see you! Always nice to see you! Oh, there we go. This isn't even... This is drawn on. This is exactly like they did it in Superliminal. Also a Unity game, by the way. So this, I suppose we need to have a look at from... 
From up here. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, up there. How do we get there? Take the stairs, Jay. That's that's easy. <laughs> no worries, mate. It's a good work. It's a good game to check out. So they had it on sale recently. Viewfinder. Treat yourself. This is for research purposes. Play it and you'll be amazed. You're going to ask yourself all kinds of questions like, how did they do that? <laughs> Just for, for that purpose. It's, <laughs> it's, a really, it's a really good game to play. You, Kate! Oh, I can pet the cat. And you can pet the cat, so... <laughs> that's already got to be a big favorite in the game. Any game where you can pet a cat is a good game. I should pick up Stray as well on, on PC. I have it on the PlayStation, but just, you know, in case we wanted to play it again, let's play the PC version. <laughs> and this. That is exciting as well. How do you make that? Because we literally just saw a picture of this level and now it's the level. How does that work? All Stray 2? That would be really cool. I can imagine. I hope they had a lot of success with their game. That was an Unreal Engine game, and I hope they had a ton of success. There is another cat-related game coming out, uh, I think in May, beginning of May, 5th of May, which is Little Kitty in the Big City. That is going to be incredible as well. Yes, that one, 9th of May. I'm so going to pick that up. Hey, can you hear me? Sadly, Hello? yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I think this is voicemail. So Hello, weird. you've reached Jay's voicemail. <laughs> Please don't this. leave a message because I don't to tend to listen to them. With you. We should be able to communicate through this method, though. By I'll telephone? <laughs> on the bright side, I've been monitoring your vitals in the system, and we're still green on my end. I'll keep you posted if anything changes. <laughs> yeah, thank Jesse. <laughs> Bring these to the planning session. Oh, let's install AI on this computer. Oh, pick up photo, pick up photo. OMG. I like it. Multiple crayons. You can never have enough color. Show diagram 121C to a heron. He'll laugh hard enough to wet himself. Also, bananas. Banana magnet. Oh, more collectibles. Ah, these are interesting experiments. And I like that they're reliant on creativity. <laughs> There's a lot of creativity in nature. Unexplainable things that uproot themselves and find purchase. I'll make sure to keep an eye out and see how this experiment might blossom. Right. We will do the same. We will do uh, sort of this, I think. <laughs> this never ceases to amaze me. I think no matter how many times you do this, just appreciating what they've done here is just... <laughs> that's just good enough for me. I don't even care if I... if I'll... if I'll be able to... solve all the puzzles. Oh, do you know what? I need to be in a position that is currently covered by wall. Hey, that's problematic, isn't it? Because <laughs> I think... I need to be here, <laughs> where this wall is. I need to be further to the left and further back here. Well, <laughs> Septitum is here. How's it going? Good to see you. How's your novel going? Also, always good to see you on Discord when you pop in. I'm always, I'm, I always like it when you're there. I'm gonna go back. I think when I placed my previous picture in here to punch a hole into this, I should have done it so that this wall gets taken away. So I think I may have to go and step back one. Like another one, actually, here. So I need to go in here, but I also need to get rid of this wall. So I'm thinking I might go doing this, right? Yes! Ha ha ha! <laughs> and this is, um, this is interesting. So you gotta think in, in several dimensions here. And then do this, and then we go... And now we can do this! Ha 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 ha! You big Jesse, and there's the teleporter. 
That is insane. So this I can sort of understand. Could have been a picture because it was a pretty fine camera there, but Same here, it's been a while. This is my first time streaming a game actually in 2024. I don't know, has it been? It's been, must have been at least two, three months since I've last streamed. Aside from the Das Plus streams, of course, they're still happening once a month. So if you're a Das Plus subscriber and you do want to catch me live, we usually do a live stream at the last Saturday of the month. Uh, in fact, next Saturday, I'm going to do one at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Das Plus subscribers will get an email and it's about animation in Das Studio. I did one last month about animation and I, re I ran out of time. There were so many things that I wanted to talk about. We're going to go and uh, talk about more animation related things. So next Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On the Das channel. Oh, pliers. They, they can come in handy. What does Mr. Lever do for us? Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's not a black picture. It's just the red, green and blue channel. And of course, we need to overlay them. This is fantastic. So this here, this is this might give us a little clue of how they've done it because I can see the perspective in there changing. So I'm wondering if I'm already looking at the 3D level there or, or, or not. I'm confused. <laughs> Leo, I'm looking forward to seeing you Does there as well. Does a pair beat three of a kind? Not in five card draw. More in Texas Hold'em. Uh, there are no Texans here. I fail to see why we should play by their rules. Mm, it's more about statistical rarity than culture, I believe. Yeah, you know, a mass thing. Just to speed. Who needs to bluff when you can count cards? How am I going to get over there to pull that lever? I suppose Brilliant. I can see the appeal. <laughs> a picture of Cat. Kate, sorry, Kate. Ah. Oh, the back rooms. Okay, another lever. <laughs> and the cat's looking at us. We have two now, red and blue. And the last one. <laughs> it's nothing quite like a like a little drawing, isn't there? Oh, we just go down here. Oh, that's easy. Duh. Do we see any more banana fridge magnets, though? Banana fridge magnet anywhere? Where would they hide them? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Thought-provoking. Breathtaking. Paint me next. <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch a master at work. <laughs> Not on a fridge, that is for sure. Yes, I agree. Mm, potential colors for Haraya's Bagras tree. Mm. So I suppose the little backstory is that they wanted to recreate nature in 3D. See, I knew it. I was looking at the 3D object all along. Ha! <laughs> huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. I don't know where I got stuck. So up until here, I've played the game, but there is something, it's probably the next level that I just have no idea how to solve. And it's also quite frightening <clears throat> how quickly I've already forgotten how to do these puzzles. <laughs> it's not been that long that I've played it. Who needs that many microscopes? And detergent bottles, for that matter. And what might that be? Wind tunnel, that could be. Wind gets produced and gets out here. Huh? huh. 
teleport to next level, I say. <laughs> Nate, what are your plans for this fine weekend? What are you doing tomorrow? I don't. I don't. For lack of space, that is. I've started hoarding fountain pens, though, which is also a, a weird hobby. I can't tell you what made me do that. How are we going to get up there? Because clearly we can't walk up the wall. Huh. Let's see what happens up here. Fridge magnets, perhaps. Oh, hang on a minute. There's me thinking I'm going up here because there's definitely something here. But I can't get there. You look like you're in the zone, so I'll come back later. Okay, good. Yes. Do not disturb me. My dreams are too practical and my plans are too dreamlike. Ah. Stabilized soil variables, variables. The loop I've programmed might have a chance of crossing over into our world. Ooh. Spending many hours on the porcelain throne. Nice. I'll, I'll join you. I have a colonoscopy on Monday. And uh, it's actually my... It's, just, you know, it's funny, I should, I should uh, mention this. Monday is Julia's and my... 20th wedding anniversary 20 years which is really cool and i've decided to celebrate by uh going for a colonoscopy on that day <laughs> isn't that funky it's that wasn't intentional though because that was one of the next dates the guy had available my colon surgeon dr zomstein so i thought yeah let's do that that's that's fine so <laughs> yes and what a great gift isn't it i'm looking forward to a dose of propofol already let's count back to <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, 20 years. It's been. I can't believe it's. Uh, it's. It's. It's been 20 years. I mean, it's been such a long time. If you look at the number, but really, it doesn't feel like it was. So it was. It feels or it feels very. You know, as if we've only just met. Almost. It's been. We've been through so much. We've been. We've been. We've done so much together. But 20 years. That it doesn't feel like that at all. So, yes, happy anniversary to the both of us. <laughs> So I will also be spending some quality time on the porcelain throne. Uh, maybe we can we can stay in touch while we while we text each other. While we the perhaps not. I don't know. <laughs> and you want to run tomorrow, okay? And you eat something fattening and sleep the rest. <laughs> quality time. I like it. Yeah, I don't know what happened with my sleeping patterns recently. I was extremely tired over the last few days. I got up at about seven this morning. Did some stuff cleaned out a fountain pen which is nice then went back to bed at about maybe 8 30 or something and slept all the way until 1 1 30 that's crazy <laughs> thank you web soul i appreciate that yes it's been it's been a crazy cool wild ride we've moved countries we've moved houses we've gone through cancer we've reinvented our careers it's kind of crazy and we're we're incredibly happy and we feel very blessed that we can do what we do and have the life that we live it's uh, it's it's really really cool i, I sometimes i have to pinch myself <laughs> thinking really this is your life this is crazy good and you know being able to share this with you is just it's just a fantastic bonus so thank you thank you for coming thank you for playing thank you for watching thank you for being creative art is not optional it's something i've learned recently <laughs> thank you art really nice I'm into the Lamy ones the, from Germany, the, the Lamy Safaris and All Stars. I've recently invested into these gift boxes here. This is the, one of the new special edition Lamy Pink Cliffs. So I'm into these ones here. And in various colors and sizes, uh, this is an All Star, which is the same pen, but it's made out of aluminium. And they work both with cartridges or uh, converter with bottled ink that's the ones i'm into <laughs> are you into fountain pens as well nick i didn't even know it was a hobby until february this year it's something i've been i hated my fountain pen when i had it at school it's something that i never really appreciated but uh, in 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 recent in recent weeks and months i've, I've developed this I don't even know how it, I, I remember now, I woke up one morning and I said, and 
I, I had this dream that I had to order this particular Lamy fountain pen. I, I really don't know what that was about. So I did some research because many friends at school, they had, I had this blue Pelican one. In Germany, we all had that. Most of us had that with the silver cap. And uh, some of the posher kids, they had the Lamy one. And I woke up and I thought, I need to order this white Lamy Safari fountain pen. I didn't really know what it was called, but I just, I just, woke up with this notion that I have to order this thing and I was thinking really uh, that's crazy I don't even know how expensive these things are if they're still around and so I went and ordered one and I liked it so much I'm really glad I, I gave into that so this literally came to me as a, as a in a dream <laughs> so funny it's no my wedding anniversary our wedding anniversary is on Monday so <laughs> just to just to clear that up <laughs> Oh, 1910 piston filled one a while ago. So that was from 1910. This is crazy and this thing still works. I have no idea how some of these pens are fetching such high prices. I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? Red marble. Wow. Crazy. There, There's literally something for every budget, isn't there? I've seen things that are like six, seven hundred bucks. Fountain pens. I mean, wow. That is that is fantastic. But also what I didn't know is that just how big a hobby this is for people. They're not very expensive to collect. I mean, you can you can get fairly cheap ones. You can get really expensive ones. You can make them your own. There's, there's things. I'm thinking about getting a Twispy. Have you seen those? They're like completely transparent. And there's a piston filling mechanism built inside. It's crazy. Yeah, there's just hundreds of them and there's thousands of inks as well. I've just uh, ordered myself five, five bottles of ink from a Korean company called Colorverse. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's really nice. I should post about this sometime soon. Marky E, oh yeah, with the koi fish patterns, right? I've seen that one. Crazy stuff. Do your father is a fountain, fountain pen collector as well, Nancy? Unbelievable. I'm still here, Meg, and we're about to look through the viewfinder of this camera. Oh, so this 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 is where the cameras come in now. Okay, okay, so let's go do that and take a picture. And this is something maybe we can go and I believe their name is Melanie. <laughs> Some of Araya's more playful work. Their name. I like it. Any more bananas around here? <laughs> What do we have to do again? We have to sort of get up here, don't we? Yes. So this is the clever bit. We just put, there's no way to get up here, but if we just put a staircase, now it's real. How, Meg? How is this done? How is this even possible? How is this done? Ooh. I've Price. been running these biochar experiments for a few days now. Every time I think I've finally achieved the perfect soil composition and nutrition, as soon as I mimic future climate conditions, poof, my work falls apart. It's disheartening, but not enough to slow <sighs> me down. There must be, be sure something to catch my I'm good missing. Side, all right. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I can talk to Mirren about it. Could it be that we don't need to go to the original teleporter? That we just need to find a good spot to sort of... Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe here? Yeah, maybe that'll work. Excellent shot. And now we have a copy of the cat, and we can pet the copy of the cat. That's insane. And we can use the teleporter. I can't remember. So we don't have to use the original one. We can also use a photocopied or a camera one. Interesting. Yes, you can. And you can order Lamy's in the US and they're quite popular. Hey, this is another fun fact about fountain pens that I didn't know before. In Europe, cartridges are more popular than they are over here whereas here 
bottled ink is more popular than cartridges. You can get both, of course, like you can get bottled ink in Germany as well or in, in, in other parts of Europe, of course, but um, only real enthusiasts are after bottled ink. Uh, normal people that were just after a good writing experience, they just whack a cartridge in their pen. And here it's, it's sort of, you know, here the, the majority of people like um, bottled ink. I, I don't know why. They're very cheap as well. They're, they're very, um, the, the, it's kind of a Bauhaus design. They're, they're fairly cheap. A normal um, plastic safari is about 20 odd dollars. The L Star, the All Star is the aluminium version. That's about 35, 40. And you can get one version better than that, which is the Lux, I think. That comes with um, a kind of a gold nib and it's all very special. That's about 60 bucks. I don't have any of those, uh, but they're essentially all the same pen. And they, they're very good to write with. They come with five different uh, nib types, so extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and uh, several cursive ones as well for calligraphy. So very cool. Very nice. It's a good everyday pen. And I've ordered so many because I'm, I want to have them all inked up so I can write with all these colors. So yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I have eight in total on Monday, which is insane. <laughs> Mont Blanc. Ooh, yes, I remember my, my dad had one in Mont Blanc. It could be masking. It could be. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I, what, what speaks against masking is how would you then get a texture on the inside bit that you cut off? Like the, like the Fruit Ninja guys, they do that as well. When you slice a fruit, it has an inside and that texture needs to be defined somehow. So in Unreal Engine, in Fracture, you have a similar issue, so to say, where an object can be fractured into multiple pieces for destruction. And then when an object becomes uh, part of a you know fracture algorithm, you can define another material that goes on that fractured piece. It's very, very exciting stuff. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I think it's sometimes with pens, it's like you need to, it's all about what it means to the person who owns it. I don't think one writes better than the other. <laughs> I don't think that's the case at all. <laughs> Bottled ink is a pain to use, yes. It, it has advantages and disadvantages, I totally agree. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the gap that we need to cross. Yeah, fountain pens. Crazy stuff. I don't know why I'm so addicted to them. It's just that these, this, this thing about making thoughts tangible by writing them down. I've done this on and off, but I've not, I've never, I've never done it quite as religiously as recently, and it's it's really helped keep my work life a bit more uh, organized. I've always made lists and stuff, but they were in recent years they were not handwritten, they were electronic. And there's something to there's something really nice to do this with something that isn't screen related, you know. Do you know I think we need two batteries, right? But I can only see one here. Cat, how you doing? <laughs> I wonder if we just need to take this battery, make a copy of it with our camera. But then how would we do that if the camera is facing that away? Oh, I know, I know, I know. Let's make another photo. Put that photo, I get it, I get it over here. Right, <laughs> so now if we look through the camera, now if we go take the battery, oh my, this is messing with our heads. If we take this battery, put it on that newly created thing that didn't even exist before and then take a picture of it. That's how it works, isn't it? This is how we get our second camera. <laughs> That's quite the clever solution. It is, isn't it? Now we put that sort of uh, here. Ha! <laughs> Uh, can we get back without? Oh, don't don't uh, don't jump. Now we have a photocopied battery and the real battery. 
Man, what a cool game. <laughs> Teleporter works! This is crazy. And you know, they have implied, applied the same principle here. So I'm actually looking at the 3D geometry in the next level already through this little hole. So how does this work then? When does the new level get loaded? I've been meaning to ask, what brought you here to the simulation? Because there are no loading times. I'm thinking perhaps there aren't separate levels. Perhaps the moment you do that, you're just in a different location in the same level. That would explain how they can show it. Like if I were to do this in Unreal Engine, I could just have several physical rooms in the same level and then just go teleport from one to another and also show a camera in another one. So that is how that might be possible. It still doesn't explain the other thing with the, with the photo thing. It is very clever, isn't it? I totally agree, yes. I totally agree. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, but or something. How do you how do you do that in coordinate? <laughs> well, the, everything's a hollow object, isn't it? There there aren't really solid objects in 3D. Everything's hollow, and then the moment you remove one face, you can only put another face there. Uh, the moment you split an object, you have you just it's it's hollow. There's, there's got to be there's got to be some kind of clever mechanism behind that <laughs> it is extremely clever we need to just you know have an interview with that developer see if we can make it work I do you know I have a feeling this here is hello cat how you doing <laughs> this is the level that I couldn't work out so this I have no idea how to solve just telling you this as an as a disclaimer <laughs> detergent shirt pickup game oh, I remember this Araya once told me that there's power in nurturing something I am uncertain by what she meant but you seem to have a handle on things you do I though that is <laughs> hey, let me just go back here let me go and put this in a different spot Maybe, maybe here? Then we can actually go inside, <laughs> behind the game. Even behind its LCD screen. That is funky. I think they should have hidden something here that we can pick up. Oh, does that mean it's growing? Do I need to do anything with this? Maybe I need to give it something. Can I press buttons here? No. Oh, so this thing is actually growing. The time is passing in the game. <laughs> now you get it. Exactly. That is how they've done it. That is how they've done it, Brian. Every possible object has been pre-rendered. This is why the game is 90 terabytes to install, just in case. So this time it's at six o'clock in the game now, but that is that is changing, isn't it? Well, we leave it. We leave it here. There is a there is a camera, but it's face. Oh, it's facing that way. Ah, yes. Huh. Is, is that is that good to take a picture of the game? Okay, now it's nine o'clock. Oh, I don't know what this means. Can we go into the game, into the game? <laughs> is, is that how we, how, how, how we do that? We can't pick this seedling up. Or any of these things here. I don't even know if we need a copy of the game. I suppose something Somehow we need to go back here to take a picture of that. P 
says <laughs> it's not i'm just joking it's not 90 terabytes it's a it's a harmless sort of i think four five maybe gigabytes the wall so yes i think i can let me just go and take this away if i can if i do this maybe i shouldn't have taken the the thing with the game but if i do that i can go behind it so now i can go and use this camera here <laughs> how do we I guess somehow we need to take a picture of this teleporter and then turn that around and then use that teleporter. But I don't see a camera that can, that points into that direction. Which is tricky. Also, I don't understand the game at all. Why, what is this Tomodachi? Why, why do we, what, what is it doing? <laughs> I don't understand. Because when are we, in order to board this, you need to take a picture of the teleporter, but no camera is currently pointing at it. So how do we do that? You have the camera in your hand. You are so right. So then, does that mean if I do this, then I can still use the camera? Good, Nate, you are the man. And the camera I'm looking at is pointing this way. So I need to go and make it point that way now so that I can indeed take a picture of the teleporter. Like so, right? Nate, you are a genius. Websoul, you're also a genius. <laughs> you're all geniuses. So if I do this, is that is that the solution? And then I go and do, I don't know, this? You guys are all geniuses. Look at that. Teleport. Oh my. Isn't that a cool idea for a game? I totally agree. I totally agree. Whew. We've made it! So I've never been at this point in the game. Thank you for helping me. This is great. I think we have time for um, one more level. Oh, there's a fridge magnet here. I should I should pick up. Oh, that one I can't... <laughs> I'd like to help you look. The founders left plenty of records of their work here in case they were to ever come back. I wonder... Well, I hope it'll be of some use to you. The biggest cookie ever. Oh, and you remember these? Tape carousels. I remember those. They got extremely dusty. They, they were such a good idea, and you can put the tapes either in their boxes or loose into this thing. I remember that. That was... Uh, those, were, those were good times. Good times! Back when we had tapes, huh? Is this the next level? Oh yeah, yeah. Cat, how you doing? Also, what's for dinner? Dried mangoes. Okay. <laughs> you still have yours. Oh my. <laughs> I have long... I wouldn't say recycled all the tapes. I do have, I think, exactly five cassette tapes still. Unused CD tower. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I have CDs anymore either. I do have some... Raya did leave in a hurry. Some software CDs, though, and DVDs. I do have those. I'm kind of glad that the narrator here, Jesse, isn't talking to me anymore. Ah, oh, hello. Fault off a battery. That is, uh, that's nice. We need two. So let's not be too hasty by putting it somewhere where we might regret it. Because how do we get our second battery? Is there a photocopier around here? <laughs> a 
got to pet the cat. Hey, oh, there. Damn the rabbit hole that goes. How uncool is that? So I suppose let's put this battery here then. <laughs> Plug the hole. Sorry, cat. And then do this. Aha! Brilliant catch. I couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> What's for dinner? Nothing. This is a simulation. Dinner will not be simulated. We need to buy the dinner DLC. The hatred for Jesse is strong with this one, yes. That's it? There's no fridge magnets here? I can't believe that for a second. There's got to be four around here. Sun's wares. Right, I want for there to be a fridge magnet. <laughs> Quality work here. Good stuff on the clothing. Come on. There's got to be... There's got to be one. Ah, sit down and enjoy the scenery. Down the rabbit hole. Okay, maybe in the next level. Fine. This one was, was quick. I think maybe we have time for one more then. Yeah, this problem would indeed be solved if we were in the same level. Jesse, I presume? What if we just don't answer? <laughs> Cat, what do you think? I'm just not gonna answer. I'm just, I'm, I'm happy with the phone ringing. I'm just not gonna speak to her. <laughs> Jesse is this ever so slightly <laughs> annoying narrator. Foolish at all. Insanely ambitious. Sure. You must tell her. You know that, right? This would be soul crushing. Real bad. Not something even an artificial cat could improve. I'll talk to her, but try having a little faith. So these guys from the record players, they're okay, but she here, let me introduce you to Jesse. Nick, you haven't met Jesse. Here's here's Jesse. Bloody voicemail. <sighs> I bet these phone booths are placed at the most inopportune spots. Just leaving you a message that I've been trying to look ahead, but the simulation is a bit of a maze. You're the only one that can navigate it. If I Thanks were to for guess, this useless though, information. what remains of all their research should be scattered around you. And if I were a delicate machine that could solve climate change, I'd be deep in a lab somewhere. Anyway, I'll do my best out here. Bye, Bye Jesse. Right. Bye, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Bye, Jesse. Delicate machine. Something to do with climate. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Should have paid attention, cat. Being cute isn't the only thing, you know. You gotta, you gotta do other things. So I suppose the moment I look through this picture, this line gets disturbed. I do get my battery, but also that line gets disturbed. So... Well, that's bad, isn't it? Because obviously we need that, otherwise the thing doesn't work. Hmm. Don't leave the look... Don't the leaves look off to Uriah? I can't tell anymore. No, the blue is... That doesn't happen in nature. <laughs> ah, camera up here. Follow me, everyone. Maybe there's even a... A fridge magnet that we can collect out here. I wonder if there's an achievement for, for petting the cat every time we see them. <laughs> so if we take a picture of that before we do this maybe uh, like uh, like like so
And then we take the battery and put that on uh, on, on, on here. Or well, maybe in, in a minute, in a minute. And now, if we go back to where we've taken the picture from, the, sort of the same angle, and then we put this thing back in place, like, like, like this. That's pretty much as accurate as I can make it. I didn't get the message the teleporter was destroyed. <laughs> it's been replaced, perhaps, with... Uh, oh, now I've got... I've just replaced my... I need another battery, don't I? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Nick? At work. Hi, Jesse. I have no information for you, but I just figured you needed to hear my voice again since it's been a while, so yeah, but I'll make it sound like I'm saying something important. Ta-ta! You work in a neurosurgery office. How exciting! That is exciting. Wow, how long have you been doing that? And what, 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 do, you, what do you do? That is cool. Spine and brain. Oh, how exciting. Man, that is high tech. That is advanced stuff. So if I take a picture of that, that means I, I would technically now have access to my second battery, right? Maybe. If we just put that here for a second and then go... To, yes! It, it works! I've also got two... Uh, teleporters. So I could literally just use this teleporter, leave that battery here and pick up the original one and not even use the original teleporter. Does that work? Oh my god. That, that. And does it work? It's, it's, it works, doesn't it? Wow. Hmm? With the bag, you had the same idea, WebSoul. Exactly. How exciting. Wow. That is a cool job. I always thought it was exciting when I had my CT scans done. I always kept a record. So those are CDs actually I still have with my CT images on there. It's fascinating. The types of machines that are out there for imaging the human body. So crazy cool. This was cool. Shall we try one more? I think we have five minutes if we can do this quick. I have a hard out today at 7 p.m. so we have about eight minutes to go. Let's let's do this thing. See if we can solve it in five minutes. Okay, so this here means I'm gonna have to take a picture of this somehow. Right? I also need to find fridge magnets. <laughs> fridge magnet. Ah, so it's not always a banana then. It's an apple magnet this time. Right. I was looking for bananas. I should have looked for all kinds of fruit then. Interesting. <laughs> Photo and turn. Puzzle solved. Yeah, but... Hmm. Well, let's take a picture of this because we can't really... Can't really go wrong with that. Now, let's use this, maybe, to... I was going to say to slice this wall away, but that... That's going to be difficult as well, because we can't just... Can we? Just go slice this away? Yeah, like so? Yeah, I don't know. Did this, did this work? So, even though it's a two-dimensional picture, it does take whatever's on the other side of it. I think I've just... I've just <laughs> deleted my camera. That was, that was not good. It, the objective is just that... Um, so, the little backstory is that in the distant future, where there's no more atmosphere and no more trees and all that, humans have found an old simulation, namely this one that we're using right now, where other humans in the past have tried to recreate nature. 
And by doing that, we might be able to transfer that into the real world somehow. Yeah. And we need to work out this... This animation so that... We can bring humanity back to life, I think. I didn't do that right, did I? <laughs> did I? No. I did not. I should have. I should have put that sort of here maybe and turn this I don't know this way around maybe does that work In... no I think I'm not quite aligned correctly this fight for do they here they they here is here right does, will this will, will will this work? Do you think? Get back, Jesse! No, it's one more. Dang! This maybe. <laughs> this way maybe. Yeah, almost. Do we need to take another picture of this thing now? I think so. And then we do this, right? In an ideal world. Ah, teleporter was disrupted. Maybe, uh... We do that. Uh, it's only the partial teleporter. No! That's exactly what it's like, Leo. Precisely. I think I might back up a couple more times here. I'm, I'm not even sure if the first placement of my picture was correct. So if that was the picture... See if this works. Take a picture of that. Is, this the, is there a teleporter in this? If I go and do that now, like you know, do do that. Well, will this work? No, there's only half a teleporter there. Hmm. <laughs> if only we could. Do you know, Leo? I think we would have to start with the hard drive that has infinite amounts of space. The infinite hard drive. And then, of course, we would make a second hard drive and raid them together so that we have twice as much space. Or redundancy. Or, or both. Let's have three infinite hard drives onto which we can back up multiple multiverses, which we would have to have as well. Would it even make sense to have two infinite hard drives? <laughs> Further from the camera's perspective. So, like, basically into the same spot, maybe just turned then. Maybe that'll work. Does it work? Uh, maybe. No, okay. A NAS of the universe. Yes, a universe NAS. From the stairs, Facing the teleporter. So... So like, like this here? You mean? Perpendicular to the current teleporter. Like, like this? Maybe? This might eradicate the camera. Like, like this? I'll put it here. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's parallel. I have no idea what I'm doing. So uh, if, if I do that, just to satisfy my curiosity, yes, that did not work. Good. I, I like it. So I'll, I'll, I'll back up one 
and then I turn left, like this, right? And then we put that here. Wild idea. Further back, gotcha. Like this way, right? That's as far as I can go. Let me let me try that. See if that's groovy. <laughs> Do we get the whole thing? It might work, it might work. Let's see. It's only half the teleporter, but that is exactly what we need to do. So that's that's good. That's good, Nate. Let me go and do that again. Just placing this just a little further forward so that we get the whole teleporter in this in this shot here. Let's do that. I do like that we're not getting the error message. You have screwed up the teleporter type thing. <gasps> this is it, Nate. Let's do this thing. And we just casually do that, and we do a bit of this, and we do a bit of that, and we just go on and do that, maybe? And that was not good. That, that is, that's not good. Uh, we can now, I suppose, just, uh, you know, just do, do that. Yeah, no, why not? Yes, ha 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 ha. <laughs> Incroyable. How exciting. Whew. Don't tell me we've unlocked a new level. Is that how it works? When we go into here? If that is exactly how it works. We've totally done it. Well, there was a, a second challenge and I suppose we can have a look at that next time. Maybe even tomorrow if you're game. I might be game. I can't make any promises, but perhaps tomorrow we're gonna go and play more of this because this is crazy. And as you can see, I really need your help. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure and a privilege to have you. Thank you so much for all the funky super chat donations. That is so, so cool. And all for the congratulations on the 20th wedding anniversary commencing on Monday. My friends, have a wonderful rest of Saturday. I might see you tomorrow. Uh, take care. All right. Bye-bye.